we present a method for learning homogeneous styles of human locomotion that is capable of learning from small amounts of data. Here we show the entire training data for the bent forward style, which we subsequently augment with mirroring, followed by our models generated motions in this style. Most machine learning systems for animation modeling require large amounts of data giving extensive and repeated mocap coverage for each desired character or style of locomotion. Our method can take a small number of frames of locomotion and generalize to new turning directions and speeds. We show the same for the duck-footed style. Our method works by first training a neural network on a large amount of data for eight representative styles. We use these styles to train a phase function neural network with an additional residual domain adapter. By learning a specific residual adapter for each style but sharing the remaining weights between the styles, we learn a set of style agnostic parameters and eight sets of style specific parameters, one for each style. The style agnostic parameters model shared features of the eight styles and can be visualized by setting the residual adapter to zero. This can be seen as an underlying average motion. Fixing the style agnostic weights and learning only a new set of weights for the residual adapter, we can model new styles of motion. We perform a canonical polyadic decomposition of the weight matrix in the residual adapter to keep the number of parameters small, which helps avoid overfitting. If we do not perform this decomposition and instead learn a full matrix of weights, the network can easily overfit to the training data. Here, the character can walk in a straight line but cannot correctly turn left. If instead we create a small number of style-specific weights by forcing the weight matrix to be diagonal, the model does not have sufficient capacity to learn new styles. We compare our method against the method presented in Holden et al.'s Deep Learning Framework for Character Motion Synthesis and Editing. We find in most cases our method produces results that are qualitatively at least as good and often capture more details of the style. However, our method has problems with styles that have extremely small amounts of data or are very different from the initial eight styles from which we learn the agnostic parameters. We now show some more results.